Hi, I'm Charlie Osmond, the Chief Tees at Trip Tees. We're working with thousands of hotels around the world, and what we're feeling right now is a lot of panic in the air. Um, hoteliers who are uncertain about where best to spend their budget, what actions to take in this difficult time, and also what's likely to happen next. So I wanted to share some of the experience we have working with hotels around the world right now, some of whom have been going through this issue already for a month or two um, and have experience and we've seen them come out the other side as we thought it might be really helpful. So I want to show three charts um, that look at different segments or split out the bookers that we're seeing in Hong Kong across a load of different hotels um, and how they've evolved over the last few months. So just to remind you, um, you know, mainland China and Hong Kong, um, they were early, in a sense, victims of um, the COVID-19 virus, but also Hong Kong has for a few more months than that. So back uh, in the back end of 2019, they were also suffering from riots and that's, that really reduced um, travel in the region. So Hong Kong's been suffering through some challenging times for a while, and it's not like they're out of it all, but they're definitely ahead when it comes to having felt the impact of COVID and starting to see some green shoots. So the first thing I want to look at is how do international versus domestic bookings vary? And what you can see from this chart is that the domestic bookings have started recovering much sooner than the international. It's not particularly surprising. There are also um, travel bans uh, from overseas and from some countries. Um, but that, that's less the issue. It's much more that um, domestic bookers uh, seem to be more comfortable um, with booking and they're coming back faster. So that's one segment to really think about is how can I target domestic travelers first? And here on the second chart, what you can see is uh, we've looked at mobile versus desktop bookers. And, uh, and what's I think really interesting here is that um, in Hong Kong, where there are a lot of uh, mobile users and certainly most hotel traffic is on a mobile um, uh, device, um, even despite that, desktop still generally has always driven the majority of bookings in the past. But what we've seen as they start to see the green shoots is that mobile bookings have come back much more quickly than desktop. And the mobile bookings have actually overtaken desktop overall, which is just something we've never seen before. So mobile, again, as a segment compared to desktop, seems to be better. And then this final chart, uh, what we've done is we split lead time. So uh, we're looking at you know guests who are booking with a two day, one two day lead time versus a three to seven day lead time uh, versus you know longer lead times. And again, unsurprisingly, what we're seeing is very different behavior um, for these different segments. So you can see the one to two day lead time has come back very quickly and very strongly. And three to seven is slowly being following suit behind it. But again, here's a segment, a certain audience that you can target, that you can focus on. So the kinds of things that we're doing with um, hoteliers that we're really focusing on, whether it's uh, the spend that hotels are putting on meta search or retargeting, for example, um, or the way that they target guests on their own hotel website, is they're really trying to focus on these kind of segments and some others where we're seeing a better ROI and where we expect to see a faster return uh, once markets pick up and once travel begins again. And I know that's kind of slightly difficult message for some people in some countries right now because it feels like they're in the heat of the panic and the worst moment for driving bookings. But you've got to you know, start planning the strategy and start thinking about, well, if bookings are down by 80, 90 percent right now, what is it that's going to turn them around? What is it that's going to come back fastest? Because you want to make sure you're on the front foot for when that happens. So I hope that data has been useful. We'd love to get your feedback. And if there's more information you want about your market, then please get in touch with Triptease. One of the things we're going to be doing to help hotels, we're launching a new combined offering where we're focusing on the things that we think have the biggest impact right now in these difficult times, meta search, retargeting, and also an optimized mobile booking flow. And we're bringing these three things together in a special package where hotel is you only pay when you get bookings. So if right now you're thinking, how can I uh, spend in a smarter way and really target key segments that can come back quicker, please get in touch.